get in the front of the train. <laughs> if you can get on the front of the train, you'll get the best view. I will sit right at the front, so <laughs> that's the best space to sit. I always try and run to the front. The front. Sit at the front if you can. <laughs> it's like being on a roller coaster. Sit at the front. <laughs> uh, the back seat, so they don't see the Shannon coming. I think that no matter where you sit, you get such an exciting view of all the areas that, that are culturally well known of London. 1987, it was a very sad area. The uh, bombing during the war had done its damage. The closure of the docks left it absolutely desolate. Very little employment. Well, DLR is the Regeneration Railway. It was built in 1987, right at the start of the Canary Wharf development. Probably without DLR, uh, there wouldn't have been a Canary Wharf district as we, as we currently know it. When the DLR started, it took on a lot of local people who stayed in the job and have grown with the job. And so it is part of our heritage in the area, if you like, modern heritage. The DLR has done a wonderful job linking us as a university to our feeder colleges. Students couldn't have got here if we didn't have the DLR to link us up with our, our, supply, our suppliers, really. If there wasn't a DLR extension out this way, we wouldn't have had this new school built. We'd still be in the old, in the old Victorian building with its leaky pipes and its dripping roof. Where my nan lives, it's got, it improves the transport and it also helps the area to just live, really. I don't rely upon the hospital. Well, I can get there in just under the hour. It's walking in the door. A DLR, obviously, of, of, of the lifeblood of the development in this area of London. It's good. It's what London needed. I almost don't need the car now because of the, the network here. It's just fantastic. It provides a reliable, predictable way of getting through what we all know can be uh, nightmarish London traffic. We've estimated that about half our passengers travel to or from the airport uh, on the DLR. Groundbreaking in getting mobility for people like myself. It means that I have an independence that I didn't have before. They've got a very good system on the DLR of having a point where you can get help on every station, so you feel safe on the system as well. Circo, they've consistently done a good job. It's a very people-friendly, uh, people-friendly local railway, and I think that's very, you know, very positive. And, and people feel like they own it in some ways and, and feel good about using it. There's a feeling of a city coming to life. There's lots of new apartments. All the um, employers in the area are going, getting linked up by stops on the DLR. You've got both the Olympics and Paralympic Games. You've got Stratford City. It is a vibrant, exciting area to be. I just think that the DLR is helping that feeling of, of regeneration, of um, there's a future for this part of London. I think that's absolutely fantastic. And everyone's just a bit excited of all the new renovations they're doing. Around Stratford area, they've already done so much. The place is alive, isn't it? It's, it's booming. Everybody who's everybody wants to come in. And it's really brought about by the railway. I think everybody at Drew would like to thank the DLR. For, for their new space. It will be so much better than anything we had before. It will put Woolwich on the map. It's going to be a very exciting period. It's not something that they've kept on their laurels. They're always looking at ways of trying to improve it. It all just gets better. Uh, and I think that that's, that's very positive. So if you look 2026 from now, uh, 20 years from now, it'll be a different world again. I can't wait to get back on.